welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look i'm gonna just be honest with you which you probably already know but you got some people waiting on you to fall off they are waiting on you to fall off and the crazy thing is some of these people they genuinely care about you they genuinely love you some people they think they do they want what's best for you and I guess what's best for you is to fall off and to 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 do things like you used to 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 go back to normal like that that's what's what some people want um I don't know but then you got others who just waiting on you to fall off because they can't reach your level they can't get to you they they chasing after you they pulling after you they climbing up the road behind you they can't touch you they're nowhere near you they can't compete with you and it bothers them you got some people waiting on you to fall off you're a like you you attract opportunities like you attract your lifestyle like you you're a very attractive person all across the border like all across the border and you got some people like really watching you like they're really watching you close they're really taking notes uh they're really trying to figure out how you're doing what you're doing even when you tell them how you're doing what you're doing people don't believe you some people just don't believe you because it's like some people got more than you financially. Some people got more than you physically, materialistically. And they're not doing it like you're doing it. So it's like, how are you? You like rich in the mind. It's like your mindset is very rich and very vibrant. Like you don't get that with the average person. You rich in your mind. You ain't got to have a certain dollar amount in your bank account to feel rich, to move like you rich, to do things like you rich. Like, it's people out here with way more than you, but somehow you take what you got and you make the best of it. You got some people waiting on you to fall off. They're waiting on you to unlove yourself. You've grown to love yourself. It's uncomfortable for them to sit there and watch that because they don't love themselves. They don't know how to care for themselves. They don't know how to take care of themselves. They don't know how to speak highly of themselves. They don't know how to think highly of themselves. You got some people waiting on you to fall off. They're waiting on you to fall off because it seems as if things are only getting better and better for you. What happened to that old you that was struggling? What happened to that one who who needed people? Like what happened to that one who didn't have much? When they seen you start to get better, they knew that it was just a temporary phase. Like they knew that one day things were gonna reverse itself. They made excuses as to why you have what you have, not knowing that you work for everything that you have. No matter what that works look that work look like, no matter what it looks like, you work for everything that you have and you got some people waiting on you to fall off because they don't have it. They don't have it. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because it's you. Because it's you that have it. Who are you to have it? The same one that they grew up with? The same one that they used to know? The same one that used to didn't have anything? The same one who needed people? Who was codependent? Who are you? Who are you to switch up? Who are you to not be codependent anymore? Who are you to start telling people no and not be a people pleaser anymore? Got some people waiting on you to fall off. This new you, this uh, forever evolving you, it makes people very uncomfortable. It makes them very uncomfortable and they don't like it. They don't like it. They'd rather not be around you if that's the case. They'd rather not be around you because now you're speaking up for yourself. Now you're moving for you. Now you're living life for you. They don't like that. They like the days where you were living life for everybody, where you were living life for your family. Well, you were doing things because society says that you should do them. That's the you that they like. They don't like this new you who got boundaries and standards and, uh, you know, want to put rules in place and want to speak up on how you feel about situations. They don't like that. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because who you are makes them uncomfortable. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because it seems like the moves you be making, 
they don't seem like, but the moves that you be making, they be really bossy. They be really bossy. Like you be doing like top level stuff. Like you be doing stuff that the average person ain't, uh, haven't seen, haven't seen been done like firsthand. Like they see you doing it and they not even close. They only get a snippet of it. They don't even know the half of it, but they see you doing certain things and they ain't never seen nobody do that. They only seen it on social media. They only seen it on TV. So you doing that type of stuff. You you got real supporters in real time. Like you got some people waiting on you to fall off because they don't want to support you. They don't want to tell you how great of a job you're doing. Because they're waiting on you to fall off. And if they tell you of how great of a job that you're doing, it's going to make them feel the type of way about what they're not doing or what they could be doing. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because they already said that you will fall off. The moment that they seen that you was up, the moment that they seen you doing something different, they already planted it. They already put it out there. They already set the intentions that it's not going to last for you. It's not going to work out for you. That things are going to reverse itself before you know it. Like You got some people patiently waiting on things to change in your life, for things to go back to the way that they used to be. You got some people really waiting on you to fall off. Like, they waiting on you to fall off because they want to be able to have direct access to you. Some people don't even have access to you anymore. But they feel as though it's because you've changed. They don't have the access to you. So if you could just change back or you can just fall off, you'll be who they need you to be. You got some people really waiting on you to fall off. They're waiting on you to fall off to make themselves feel better, to make themselves look good. They're waiting on you to fall off so that their accomplishments can seem grand because they don't feel grand compared to what you have done. They don't feel grand, like you're always doing something. You got some people turning a blind eye to what you have done just so they don't have to acknowledge it, just so they don't have to compliment you, just so they don't have, they don't have to say what uh, good of a job that you've done or anything, like just so they don't even have to acknowledge it, so they don't have to acknowledge you. You got some people who would rather be around you when you fall off versus when you up because it's too intimidating to see you constantly growing and constantly evolving, like constantly doing out of the ordinary things like constantly moving how you want to move you got some people really waiting on you to fall off that's crazy right <laughs> it's crazy because it's like you're the type of person you wish nothing but the best for everybody everybody could win we it's room for all of us to grow it's room for all of us to win it's room for all of us to be great you don't hope nobody to fall off, like, but you got some people waiting on you to fall off because your success, because your accomplishments, it makes them feel small. It makes them feel really small. It does. And some people, they're inspired by it, but we're not talking about them people. We're talking about the people who are intimidated by you. You got some people waiting on you to fall off because you intimidate them just by being you. Just by being you. Like, just by moving how you want to move. Just by saying that you want to do something and actually doing it. Just by saying that you're going to get something and actually getting it. You got some people waiting on you to fall off. They can't wait to that day. They can't wait to that day to see you down, out. Broke, busted, disgusted. <laughs> Broke, busted, disgusted. Like, they can't wait. But the funny thing is, the way you operate, the way that you didn't grown spiritually, even if you fall off, even if you fall off, you're not going to fall down. You know how to get back up. Even if you fall off, the people ain't going to even know. People ain't gonna even know because you ain't even that, even that type of person that's gonna be just blasting your stuff. Talking about you fell off. You still people, you still gonna be moving how you been moving because you're abundant. 
So people can wait all day. <laughs> they can wait for you to fall off. But as long as you keep your abundant mindset, as long as you keep operating in love and light, you're going to stay up. You're going to stay afloat. You're going to be good. Things are only going to get greater for you. And that's what people have to re recognize. Like, you have a, a pure soul. Like, you have a good heart. So your falling off don't look like everybody else falling off. <laughs> your falling off is slightly different. Your falling off is recu recuperating. Your falling off is readjusting your crown. That's what your falling off look like. It means just doing things a little bit different to get an even better result. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all of the members on the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.